But why assume? And even if you want to assume, it probably wouldn't have meant too much to you or weighed you down or made her bitter if she didn't make the mistake she made the first day. You met this guy just once. Like, it's the very first day. Like, it's not up to 24 hours that you met this guy. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Moyo Fore. For those of you watching me for the first time, nice to meet you. And to all my subscribers, thank you. Okay, so I saw this movie during the week and I felt like, hmm, it might be a good one to share with you guys. Especially it's a weekend, you might want to watch it with a friend or something. Or maybe it's just because it's been a while I watched a love-related story. I do not know. But this movie is titled Unintentional. And it's the first feature film by Red TV. I think it was interesting. I think I enjoyed watching it. Um, and for some reason, I was just blushing like a few times. I noticed myself blushing. Hey, hey, hey. Love one thing thing. Okay, guys, so this movie casted Omo Widada as Sefi, Kate Enshaw as Sefi's mother, Effa Iwara as Uzo, Beverly Usu as Rosie, who was Sefi's friend, Tina Mba as Uzo's mother, Chioma Okoli from Skinny Girl in Transit, and a host of other actors. Now, you know on all the reviews, I stand for two things. Like I said in my first video, if you've not seen it, check the link up here to watch my first video of the year. So I mentioned two things, moral and quality. Those two things will be my watchword for the year 2022. Now, I will wait towards the end of this review to talk about something really important, which I hold as the moral in this story that I got. But let's talk about the fourth thing, four elements that I could wrap as a thing for this movie. Love, friendship, hope, forgiveness. Those four were the elements I could wrap as a theme. Let me talk about two relationships that I enjoyed so well, um, yes, in this movie. And I probably think those two connections were the most important in the movie, right? Sefi and Uzo, Sefi and Rosie. Now, for Sefi and Uzo, I enjoyed the quality, the, I enjoyed the level of participation that they both brought together. Meaning, I enjoyed the chemistry that they showed, you know, in this movie. I kind of enjoyed it at every point in time where it was, where the scene involved, um, Sefi and Uzo, I kind of felt like I, I, I kind of felt it. You know, there is a way you watch a movie and you feel like you are in the moment with them. Exactly. That was how I felt watching both of them. And then for the relationship between Sefi and Rosie, I thought that was an awesome combination of individuals or combination of actor to act those roles. And then on a normal level, I felt that that was a good show of love, you know? And that was why, remember the four things I mentioned? I've already talked about the love aspects, which was the chemistry that was shown between Sefi and Uzo, and now the friendship part. Now I will ask you, what kind of friends do you keep? You, yes, what kind of friends do you keep? Is it a kind of friend that will talk good in front of you and then go and backstab you? Or is it that one that stays true to you through thick and thin and will still talk sense into your head when you need to hear the truth? <laughs> Even though Rosie was a talkative, more of a talkative, she had sense and she was good spirited. And I love, love, love the way Beverly Osu delivered her role in this movie. You know, she couldn't have done it better, right? I love that she was there for Sefi when she needed her. I love that they were like cats and dogs where they needed to be cats and dogs, right? And I love that she was even there to talk sense at some point into Sefi. When she needed to get up and do what she needed to do, Rosie was there to tell her, you know? And I think those are the kind of people we need around us, especially in this year, right? <laughs> those that will talk sense into us. So that is about friendship. Now, let's talk about forgiveness. In life, we cannot control what the other person does to us, right? 
in life we cannot control other people's emotion we only have control over our own emotions and over ourselves and that is why it is important to forgive ourselves even though past experiences and past things might have been cursed through our own um, decisions we still need to learn to forgive ourselves so that we can have better opportunities in the future with other people that we will meet in life okay for Sefi it took us some time to forgive ourselves right it took us some time to come to that place of forgiving other people as well so that she could be healed now let's talk about hope I love the way this movie ended the story actually ended cuz um, I did not, I wasn't expecting Sefi to still meet up Uzo somewhere because where I was expecting her to meet Uzo was at the airport, which she missed, right? So I wasn't even expecting that they would still meet up somehow. But at the end, they met, right? And that is the part of the hope. Like when there is darkness at some point, light usually turns on at the end of the tunnel. So you see where my four elements for the theme came out from? Yes, I touched on those. Now, let me mention a few things that I observed that really made sense to me, you know, for the overall picture of this movie. Remember that when Uzo and Sefi was going to meet the very first time, right? He was on it was on Sefi's way to Emo State for her youth service and then her boss her boss broke down right can you remember how the movie ended okay the car broke down as well somehow right and then they met again one more time that was so intelligent for me I felt that was so so intelligent another thing that I picked again was that part not expecting like i didn't see it coming even though uzo's parents were really bent on connect or matchmaking uzo with one of their either their uh, family friends child or something 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 i wasn't expecting that sefi was going to be one of those girls you know that the parents wanted to match make like can you see you know like i just felt that those little little details actually made the the movie more interesting what do you guys think have you seen the movie unintentional if you've watched it let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the movie now let's talk about the moral you know i would always say it as it is right <laughs> if you have anything to say use the comment section but my ladies my ladies let me remind you that you were made in the image of god and that you are beautiful and that you are worthy of who you are of having the things that you have or having the things that make you who you are right now and so whether it's a day old relationship a week old relationship a month old relationship or a one year old relationship as long as you are not yet husband and wife it is important to hold yourself hold your emotions don't put too much emotion and especially don't put physical connections into your relationship until there is a definition until you know that okay I'm married to this person let me cite an example still based on this movie come to think of it Sefi met Uzo just once like the first day she met Uzo and that already happened she put too much at once right and i felt that was actually responsible for the way she felt when she saw uzo and diamond at the party i tell you yes we can say she once had an incident with La with Ladi, right which might inform what she was thinking in her head but why assume and even if you want to assume you probably wouldn't have meant too much to you or weighed you down or made her bitter if she didn't make the mistake she made the first day you met this guy just once like it's the very first day like it's not up to 24 hours that you met this guy like really i know that a lot of people don't see any sense in being celibate or you know staying true to themselves before they get married 
I know is the in thing in town, right? They want to show up or they want to show up. But the truth is, when you get married, some things, they don't look so rosy as you think they will look. I'm just going to stop there. But like I always promise you guys, two things that I'll be standing on this year is morale and quality. And I think the quality aspects gets a check mark for this movie. Yes, the delivery was awesome. I loved all the characters. They did awesome. And I respect the producers and director and the whole crew of this movie. The title again is Unintentional. If you're interested in watching it, please go ahead and check it out. It's free on YouTube, uploaded by Red TV. This is where I'll be stopping today. If you have any comments, please use the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this review and about your own view watching this movie. Till my next video, stay blessed, stay safe, and remember, God loves you. Bye.